Um, we had a, a uh, there's, I, there's so many different clips that I want to download so many different things to talk about that. I, I don't even know where to begin. I wrote down, you know, so many different topics <laughs> and I'm, again, I'm always leaving it up to Lana, you know, what? if we're running long or we need oh. to cut it short, oh. you just let me know. Um, but there's a lot to cover. So let's get right into it. I mean, we could just start real quick with um, the news from last week is that the former disgraced president, Donald Trump, it is so funny. He cannot keep his mouth closed. He just cannot shut the fuck up. And he lives in this bubble of a world that he believes he can say and do whatever he wants. And there are no consequences, but for the first time, um, or actually the second time, yeah. Yeah. he has faced consequences. Now the first time he may not have cared as much because the $5 million that he lost in a sexual assault case in which he was found guilty. There's no other way to put it. He was found guilty yeah. uh, in, a, a, for sexual assault and had to pay E. Jean Carroll $5 mm -hmm. million. Mm -hmm. Now, that may not be that big of a deal to Donald Trump because all he did was milk a bunch of his donors. Right. And I'm sure easily got that money to pay. There is a 0% chance that money came out of his pocket. Right. Um, and Lana, I think you may know this better than me. I think that money right now, I don't know if it went directly to her because there might be some sort of, I don't know if there's an appeal or not, but it sits in an escrow account, I believe. Right, and right. So, the, well, that was, when did she get the $5 million? I mean, she could have already gotten that. How many yeah, months? maybe. And that was only like, it felt like a month ago. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then he runs his mouth. And next thing you know, I see the big news that came out last week is that he now owes her an additional $83 million. What an idiot. But I you mean, know, when, when you are confident that it's not going to be your money, you don't care. Mm-hmm. Like he just doesn't care. He's probably like, oh, I just raise it. Super Pat pays my law uh, attorney fees and like, I'll just raise the rest. I think at some point he's going to have to care though, because yeah. there's almost so much money you can raise and you need some of that for right. a presidential run that he's trying to make. Um, but right. again, it's, it's beyond comprehension. The mental status Right. Of this guy who just all he needed to do was just not say another word about right. E. Jean Carroll. Right. And he's just on to the next trial. But yeah. now an additional $83 million is added to his plate. He's about to be hit again very shortly, possibly tomorrow. Yeah. Um, in fact, keep your phone out. We might be seeing breaking news tonight that New York is going to come up with their settlement for him frauding um, the city and the state. And that should be upwards of $350 million. And his supporters just don't see any of it. Like, I'm just, it's, that's very strange to me, right? Like all of this happens and it's just like, it just goes over their head. Like if that was, Kamala or Biden or Obama, I would be like, something's wrong. You know what I mean? Maybe like some little things you could try to excuse, <laughs> you know, but like after a while, you're like, nah, this is a lot. <laughs> it's like all of this is just not a coincidence. This is crazy. It is it, crazy, is definitely a word. And I just, I don't understand it, but you know, guys like him get, you know, they they're eventually going to get what they deserve, and it's it's a shame sometimes that it takes so long for something like this to happen. Um, I don't know how familiar familiar you are with a case that just came out recently as well, and I don't want to spend too much time on it. Um, but are you familiar with Vince McMahon, the wrestling guy? The wrestling guy. Well, he's not the wrestling guy, but on the... Yeah, well, he is. I mean, if you if you hear the word re Vince McMahon, you right. think wrestling because he right. was the king of professional wrestling. Right. He turned what was a business that was made 
very little money for mm -hmm. professional wrestlers all across the country into this worldwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And recently there was uh, accusation of him within the company that he was sex trafficking and sexually assaulting a young lady that he had hired. I am absolutely not going to get into a lot of the lurid details of it because it is really, really disgusting. But people like Vince McMahon and Donald Trump, these guys are really almost similar. Vince McMahon is the same guy. He was raised kind of a little punk. He was sent to military school just like Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And they get to these power positions and think they can do and say whatever they want. But this guy, again, is in his mid-70s, maybe close to 80. And finally, you know, in, in, right. in, for years, we knew right. about stuff like this about him. And it's right. just being, you know, this time, they're saying this time, you know, it, it could be the end. In fact, he had to resign from his position. Um, but I found it, I don't know if you read any of the details of it, no. but it's disgusting. Um, but the reason why I wanted to bring that up, because there are similarities to similarities to Donald Trump and, and Vince McMahon. But I want to ask you, Lana, as a woman, because I've heard, and not that you have the definitive answer to this or, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, you may be able to provide some insight because there are details of the story that, said that she got a job with Vince McMahon in the WWE and for years was forced to have sex with him and other wrestlers and other people in the company. There was photos shown of her. There was just really bad. I mean, it was, it's, there's some of the things in there. I started reading and I, I got disgusted, but you also hear a lot of dudes and people saying, you know, why did she stay there if it was so bad? Why did she stay there if it was so awful? And, you know, first of all, let's say we agree with that premise. The fact that Vince McMahon is accused of doing what he did and if he did it, it doesn't matter whether she stayed there or not. But right. what, what is the, what do you say to somebody that says, well, if it was that bad, why did she stay there? And uh -huh. by the way, she was getting paid lots of money. How old was she? Was she I I want, in her 20s or something? You know, her parents had just died and she was very vulnerable at the time. Right. And, uh, you know, he hired her and promised her all these things and, um, you know, and I find it funny too from uh, people who also on the other side seem to do anything another dude tells them to do, you know, like Donald Trump, you know, that right. are in these <laughs> sort of right. camps that, right. uh, that bow down. But, you know, I, I get irritated when I see that, you know, it's just like it's the victim shaming rather than the guy I mean, some women do it and some women do it as well <laughs> like they victim shame and it's like it's the same as staying in an abusive relationship or staying married to an abusive husband like we really don't know the inner workings of whatever that relationship was we don't know if she actually loved him he was in a position of power that's why they say people in the position of power at the workplace should never sleep with their yeah. um, subordinates mm -hmm. because you are in a position of power. So that means that, you know, that person may do things that they really don't want to do because they feel like they have to do it because you're their boss. Like yeah. you can't, you, you know what I mean? Look at, look at R Kelly, you know, like yeah. those women stayed some, you know, he had when they were young, but then they got to be adults. And they still stay because men like him prey on weak women. Like everyone is just not, fuck that. I'm getting on. Like everyone doesn't have that thing. And it's the same thing with E. Jean Carroll, right? Mm -hmm. How they were blaming her, like, you know, because they want rape victims to do certain things. Why didn't you scream? Why didn't you tell anyone? Why don't you act this way? And that's just not how that is. I guarantee you. How, I sound like Donald Trump, guarantee and probably, but like <laughs> almost 100% of women have been sexually assaulted, yeah. uh, sexually abused in some harassed. Type of way, harassed, right? You get that all the time. You don't always tell anyone about it. Like you don't not, 
I was on the train and a man put his hand underneath my butt when I was in my 20s. I was just like shocked. I, I sat there and then got up and just looked at him. Cause I, today I would probably fuck him up or yeah. yell, but like being in my 20s, I didn't know how to react to it. I just got up and left. I was sexually assaulted. Yeah. But a man put his hands on me, right? Like, so it, you can't, it's just, I hate when people do that. Like, I, I do too. I, I'm not a fan. And I, you know, again, too, from, from men, and I've said it before, you know, when I'm not in the position of somebody that uh, traditionally, I hate to use the word traditionally because it sounds like it's a celebratory thing, like, but really? traditionally, you know, has um, things that, are grievances against them, whether they, you know, their color, their gender, their, you know, whatever the, the case is, I, I, I hate opining on it as if I have gone through it myself. You know, it's easy for me as a guy to go, I fucking, I wish Vince McMahon tried that shit with me. I'd fuck him up. Well, yeah, I mean, but you know, it's in, and, and it doesn't really happen the other way. You're not going to have the powerful woman that's going to come down and make you do that stuff. And I'm not saying guys can't be sexually harassed and I'm not saying they haven't been or, you know, but if you look statistically, you know, right. we all know where it all comes from. And I just, I, I find it really, not even pretentious. I find it abhorrent to kind of lend your um, opinion towards it when you've never even come close to being in a situation like that. Right, right. Do I go, do I say, look at the woman with Rudy Giuliani, right? Like, yeah. Like making her do either, well why'd she do it like she, maybe she felt like she had to yeah right? like when someone's dangling your career and it's already tough for women <laughs> yeah. to get to certain places in their career and then you have i mean it's just like hollywood right isn't it the thing what do they call that thing the couch what's that thing called yeah, Some the casting couch. couch. Casting couch, right? Where like the, the executives, they won't give you a chance unless you sleep with them. Yeah. I mean, that was real. Yeah, it's easy to say, oh, well, just don't do it. Then you don't get your dream. Like, you, you know, sometimes. Uh, well, the thing is this, though, is that um, make mo no mistake about it, whether it's the casting couch or whether it's a woman at WWE, there are certainly women strong enough who go, I will fuck you up if yeah. you even think about that shit again. Right. But what they'll do is, is they'll prey on the ones who they can manipulate and they will right. prey on the ones, which makes that just a heinous and horrific crime right. really is right. what it is. Right. And, uh, you know, that, that to me, I just, I, I read that stuff and it just makes me so mad that, you get so many people in this world and in this life who get away with so much stuff right. and they live the lives of really the greatest lives in the world. And they get away with the most awful and terrible things. Yeah. And, you know, you want to always think there's a just world out there. And obviously, you know, we've been alive long enough to realize that that just is not the case. Yeah. I mean, look at Bill Cosby. It took years. Yeah. For that to get it's, up, it's, absolutely. Uh, you have um who's uh Harvey Weinstein, who yeah. that was I mean, literally during awards shows, they would make fun of how Harvey Weinstein basically sexually assaulted women, and it was like a known thing, and it's just like now all of a sudden he's in jail and like, oh Harvey Weinstein, you're like well, right, you but know, they you, don't <laughs> they're like, sitting oh, amongst they're like, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's just gross. It's just I don't know, man. The the human condition sometimes really disturbs me. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. <laughs> like I, I can't. 